Yo guys, what's up? In the kitchen working on the slingshots again. Um, got to put some band grooves into this one. And that's what this video is going to be about. I'll show you the steps I um, take to do it. I've been working on this one for the past couple of hours. Um, let me flip the camera around. I think you can see them a bit better there. They're not completely finished. Um, that's the what that's shaped all I'm gonna shape there. Um, I gotta do the other side and they need to join up on the ends. But um, we're getting there slowly. So um, I thought I'd take you through the steps of how I do that. And I'm gonna do it start to finish in the video, but I'll show you the steps. And I can take this one so far, when this one's so far, I can show you the rest on that one. Um, I'm gonna move the camera down. There's no science in what I do. Um, you can see on there, I've already marked the lines. I'll show you what I use to uh, mark the lines. That's it. I've got a dart tape to a pencil, six mil from pencil to tip, and it just sits on there. Sits on there and scribes a line across. That's all it is. And the next step then to put my cuts in, um, let me flip the camera down a bit. Um, I need to do this so it works for me, but you guys need to see it as well. If I bring the camera around that way, you'll be able to see better. Right, so that's all I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it to my work surface, hold it secure. I've got a lump of steel and I'm going to line that up across those lines and I'm going to use an axle and that lump of steel is my guide Once I've gone in so far, got to make sure this stays in that groove. I popped out on the one bit and marked it a little, but that's not a problem at this stage. Looking to go in about 1 to 1.5 mil. Um, as we open it up later on, we can go a bit deeper if need be. Really do need to get some new axle blades. Not the best with a saw, as you can see, but um, it's good enough. That'll do us. Let me show you what we got there now. Got two cuts going through, and that's all we're looking for at this stage. That's it, I'm done with the saw there now. I'm not going to do the other side a minute because I want to keep the video short and um, just show you the steps I go through. That's why I got the two slingshots here. So once I've done this, I'll get on with finishing the other one. I really want to get this thing finished so I can shoot it. This, um, like I said, when I get the 500 subscribers, I'm giving this away. Um, I ain't there yet. Could be weeks and weeks before I'm there. But... It's in the making. Right. Metal ruler, 
with a piece of, uh, I think this is 120 grit sandpaper taped along it, taped in nice and tight all the way along so it's even. And then we're going to get that in that groove. And just open it up. guys all this dust gets uh, cleaned up at the end when i'm finished i'll wipe everything down it doesn't stay in my kitchen it's just much nicer light in here than in the shed nice worktop to work on and i ain't got a woman here to shout at me for doing stuff like this in the kitchen so it's all good Just moving it back and forth a little bit now. Just really opening that up. Right. Just wash that dust out of there. And we got the start of some grooves coming. Nice and even. Not saying they're perfect. This certainly isn't the uh, probably the recommended way to do this, but it works for me. Right, now I'm going to leave that one there because I'm not bothered about finishing that. Um, what I've got is this one, sort of at that stage. I'm just going to open it up a tiny little bit more before I go on to the next bit. Right, with this one now, if you look, it tapers down, so I'm not just going across a flat surface. So what I'm going to do is just lift the ruler a bit and start to cut in straight into the curve. And then I'll bring it back this way, lift the ruler a bit, so I'm starting to cut in for our curve. And we got that cut put in there. It's hard to line it up with the camera. Um, could probably go a bit deeper. I'm going to. All right, I'll pause the camera a minute. Um, sometimes this can take half an hour, 40 minutes. I want to get another ooh, half a millimeter deeper in there. So I'll pause the camera. I'll come back to you in a minute. All right, I'm back, guys. And now you can see those grooves in there. It is almost as deep as the ones that are uh, almost finished. So um, all this next stage now, I do wet. Um, keeps the dust down in the kitchen. Um, makes it a lot easier to finish off, in my opinion. Um, better finish while finishing off. So let's go over to the sink. Right. Where did I put them? That cut that I've just put in there now, little file, little needle file, and I'm just going to open that up to the width of the file. And if you can see what I'm doing here, I hope you can. And I'm starting to work the file back as I'm going. So I'm putting that cut into the curve. The other thing with um, doing this wet is the water just washes the dust straight out. 
Um, you can see that cut now is starting to go back around the curve and it's going to come around and meet the other one. They'll barely touch, but um, that's what it's going to end up like. And same again as we're going this way. Start to take the cut back round into the frame using the um, tip of the file because I want it to go into a point in the middle. Really, I'm trying to rush this for the sake of the camera, and um, I shouldn't be. But um, I want to get it done. It's hard work holding them sometimes, so you can get it all sides. See if I can show you this in a minute. Dry it off again. This is the side that we've just been doing, and it's almost as deep, so hard to show it, almost as deep as the other side, but it's not as wide. So um, you can see on the sides, hopefully, how it's curving in. To meet the other side but with it not being as wide now what i was using was a round needle file this time i've got a half moon one so then exactly the same again just keep going round keep filing away and opening that um, groove up using the half round side of the file. Um, this takes me absolutely ages. So again, I'm gonna pause the video by you guys and I'll carry on going round it and I'll come back to you when I finish this stage. But that's all it is, is the half moon side goes in the groove and we're just working it back and forth to open it up. I'll catch you in a minute, well, probably about 40 minutes when it's done, guys. Right, guys, I'm back. I'm pretty much done for tonight. Um, I decided, uh, that took me ages, I was, I decided to go all the way around. I don't normally cut into the sides. I think band grooves are enough front and back, but that was all done with a combination of a needle file to just open it up. And then, if I can find it in here, a half round file just to get back in there. And that's all I've been doing. Um, dry it off. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can. They go all the way round, nice and even right the way. That's it. But. It's rough in there. That's just finished with a file. So my next step, and again, this takes hours. Um, back onto the needle file, but 
around that now i've got a bit of 800 wet and dry and i'm just using that needle file on the 800 just to smooth off in there and take out any marks at all so it's basically getting a polish down to like 800 grit both forks all the way but this again is something now it could take me 25 30 minutes it could take me two hours and 25 30 minutes it's a case of going round and round drying it off having a look round and round drying it off having a look and it takes absolutely ages if anyone's got any faster ways of doing these and making them look as close as i can to perfect then um give me a heads up i'd love to know if there's a quicker way um i haven't found one i've tried a few different ways of putting in band grooves and the steps i'm showing you here today are what has worked for me the best over the past um couple of months really it's not like i've been doing this ages and it's not like i've been doing a lot of it either um slingshot making is mostly out of naturals in the summer um doing it in the winter the same as shooting in the winter is something that's quite new to me that i've only really started doing since um doing the youtube videos and uh i gotta be honest i'm enjoying it bringing the work indoors in the winter and doing this in the kitchen sink like this it's um it's quite chilling really it takes hours and hours but um i don't watch tv i don't do much all else in the evening so i may as well be in here making myself something cool to shoot this um wet and dry paper has been in there for ages because um it pretty much went through the one side first which i'd done before starting the video and it's been in there that long it's starting to fall apart so i'm um i'm gonna go and get a new piece with a little bit more bite on it and um start again going through there with a new piece and working down i'll come back to you when it's finished guys all right guys i'm back um if you've watched this right too thank you i finished um i went in there at the end like i said with a load of 800 on that needle file um before bringing it back in i just took it out quick and uh put it on the polisher out the back but that's it it's ready to shoot so pretty much we went from nothing to putting in the cuts going through it with the ruler with the sandpaper on to open that up then we went in with a round needle file and the half moon needle file just to finish off opening them up and then at the end the um the sandpaper on the needle files and that's it i don't always go right the way around the sides like i said earlier in the video but as i was doing it and opening it up the pattern on the g10 which you really can't see the uh the fine detail inside there it looks absolutely lovely but um i hope you've enjoyed the series of making a slingshot we started off making that one i'm sorry i flipped over doing the um the grooves on this but this is for me i've wanted this design and i've wanted one looking like this for a long long time and um only now getting around to doing it so um that just feels so amazing i'll um i'd like to shoot it tonight but i want my first shots to be on camera so um mm, i'll band it up but i probably won't shoot it we'll see um anyway guys thanks for tuning in if you've liked all these videos that i've done give us a like and a subscribe if you haven't already and um yeah, there's a lot more to come, but um, thank you for watching. Take it easy, guys. Peace and out.